everyone, welcome to Massalgist. So we are making uh, Thanksgiving cocktails um, now and they're pretty straightforward. Uh, most of them are just riffs on, you know, normal cocktails, but they have slightly Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, -y, that's not a word, but anyway, Thanksgiving twist. Um, and so, but I really enjoy them. And so I think you guys will too. So the first one is a cranberry mule. So much like it sounds, it's ah, it's a um, Moscow mule, but with cranberry juice. So it's two ounces of vodka. <laughs> of course, I'm making a mess. Okay, two ounces of vodka, um, two ounces of cranberry juice, <gasps> and I'm just using like, you know, regular old Santa Cruz uh, cranberry, I mean it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's just cranberry juice, nothing exciting. Uh, two ounces of this. Sorry, one ounce. I was supposed to do one ounce of that, but I did two ounces. So, okay, well, it's going to be very <laughs> cranberry so <laughs> flavored, I guess, but that's fine. Um, half an ounce of lime juice, and I am using my old standby favorite, um, Cheeky, uh, because they just love it. It lasts forever. It's shelf-stable, um, and it tastes good. Okay, so half an ounce of that. And again, I kind of screwed up the measurements, but I don't think it'll matter too much. And then we're gonna top it with ginger beer. Um, I had some left from my previous video, but let me open some more. <coughs> ah, okay. All right, so we top with the ginger beer. Okay. I'm really bad at Russian accents, um, but sometimes I do try to do them. So, yeah, if that happens, I apologize. Um, we were watching 90 Day Fiance, like, last week, or I think it was last week. And there is a dude on there, I think he's from... He's either a Ukrainian or Russian or something. Anyway, I think he's Russian. And he uh, kept saying my name because his fiance's name is Nikki. And I was really, really tired that night, like exhausted. And all I remember is before I went to bed, I kept saying like, Nikki. Uh, but I was like actually speaking in a decent um, Russian accent, which was weird. So, mm -hmm. still good. Um, I will say I added too much cranberry juice. That was my fault. I uh, misread my own handwriting. But I do think that um, the gist of it is still there, and it's really good. If you like um, Moscow Mules, you'll probably like this version. Um, the cranberry adds a really nice tartness to it, and it just tastes very fresh and delicious, in my opinion, and has a nice Thanksgiving element, but it's not too sweet. It's, yeah, it's just like a Moscow meal, but it it's tart and I really like the tartness, so. Mm-hmm. And not everybody will like that, obviously, but I do enjoy it. Okay. Next, we're doing a burp. No, closing cabinet and scaring ourselves, no. Um, doing a bourbon one. Uh, I just want to make sure that what that was in there. I don't know. Okay. Um, and this one is, I think I'm going to shake it because I did that last time and it actually, um, worked out pretty nicely. So I think I'm going to do that again. So, and we do have another one after this that also uses bourbon, but you don't have to shake that one. So Okay, so it's going to be two ounces of bourbon, which you all know is my 
absolute favorite alcohol. <laughs> and, um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. okay, two ounces of that. It's going to be four ounces of apple cider. And I am just using, um, like, you know, New Seasons, which is like a sort of ritzy ish you know, Whole foods -y market around here. They make their own fresh pressed apple cider. That's what I'm using. Please, please don't use sparkly stuff like Martinelli's. It will explode. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put that in here. We need half an ounce of um, lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Half an ounce of lemon juice and half an ounce of maple syrup. So let me grab that. Okay. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Oops. Oh well. I'm slightly over poured, so it's probably going to be more like three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, but it's fine. Okay. And then half an ounce of uh, maple syrup, which is why I left my maple syrup out from my other video because I knew I would need it again. Um, okay, so half an ounce of lovely, lovely maple syrup. I think I do, yeah, I need it one more time so I won't put it away yet. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna grab some ice. And then I'm going to shake it. Um, my rule of thumb, if you're new to my channel, is generally to shake until my hands get cold. Um, but do be careful with this. It's a lot of liquid for a shaker. Um, I think I'm okay, but like, I've done it where, you know, it just has been too much liquid, so just watch out for that if you have a small shaker. Um, okay, it's very pretty. Um, the lemon juice gives it a really nice fizz appearance. Um, yeah, so this is the Spiced Apple Cider Cocktail. Mm. I actually like it better. This time, and I'm not sure if that's because um, the apple cider is like colder now or because I added extra lemon juice accidentally, but I think it's actually more balanced and I really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, impressed. Okay, next we're making a very yummy one. Um, but I am changing it a bit just because my pumpkin was very scary looking and had fuzz on it and um, I am allergic to um, penicillin. So in the name of not dying, I decided to use sweet potato instead. And I actually made a mocktail um, with the sweet potato earlier and it was absolutely delicious like so much yummier than even than the pumpkin was so I actually think that's a really good change um, and I think that it only makes this cocktail yummier so I'm gonna wash out my jigger real fast because it has bourbon and maple syrup and all kinds of stuff and I don't want it to adulterate this yumminess so okay so we're gonna need two ounces of vanilla vodka, and I am just using this Pinnacle. Um, you could use any brand of vanilla vodka you want. Um, I'm sure this is gonna last me like seven years because I never drink 
vanilla vodka, but um, sometimes for these holiday recipes or like specialized things you do actually need it. So, okay. Two ounces of vanilla, vanilla vodka. Um, one ounce of sweet potato puree because, or you know, drop your spoon in the sweet potato puree. That was actually kind of funny, um, but not what I meant to do. Okay, uh, one ounce of sweet potato puree. And so I'm just going to fill my jigger with um, the appropriate amount of sweet potato. Okay. And then try to try to get that out of there. Um, sometimes it's a little hard to get it out of the jigger. So, uh, yeah, I haven't really found a good way. Actually, though, I wonder. I'm going to try using my stir thing to... I uh, know. It's just a weird shape at the bottom, so the sweet potato kind of gets stuck in there. Um, but that's okay. It's about one ounce, I think, that I got, so we'll just... <laughs> I dipped it again in there. Okay. Um, we need 0.5 ounce of heavy cream. And so I have my whipping cream right here. And maybe that'll actually get some of the pumpkin out of, I mean, the sweet potato out of there too, but, uh, okay, oops, I accidentally sort of poured like an ounce, so, yeah, if you do that like I did, just, <laughs> it's fine, and I'm, I'm not mad about it, I like, I like the heavy cream, it's very good, okay, um, and then, okay, and then half an ounce of simple syrup, I have some simple syrup right here, so we'll just add that. Okay, then I'm gonna wash this out now, actually. Um, okay, now um, we just need some e ice, some ice, some ice. Okay, some ice. Oh boy. Okay, some ice. And um, we will shake this. And again, this is a sweet potato pie martini, I guess, because I'm not using pumpkin. But I know people eat sweet potato pies at um, Thanksgiving. And also a lot of people have yams, um, you know, alongside the mashed potatoes. Honestly, I'm a mashed potato person, so um, I could just eat mashed potatoes and be super, super happy. Okay. So this is the now sweet potato pie martini, not pumpkin pie martini, um, but it should be good. I, like I said, made a sort of mocktail version of this and it was absolutely delicious. I really don't see why this one won't taste pretty much the same. Mm-hmm, it's good. I think I actually slightly prefer the mocktail actually. But I think the vanilla vodka, to me, has a very strong flavor and kind of drowns out the other stuff a little bit. Um, whereas with the mocktail version, you were really, really getting the yummy cinnamon, sweet potato, cream flavor. And not to say this is bad, it's still very good. It's just that I actually enjoy the mocktail, I think, a little bit, slightly more. But that's just me. Um, I still think that if you have someone who wants a cocktail and uh, enjoys things on the sweeter side, they will absolutely love this, and you might too. Um, but yeah, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. 
And last but not least, my friends, we will be making, oh dear. We will be making, if I can find a glass that I like for it. Hold on one sec. Mm. Mm. Oh boy, that's gonna be hot. Okay, um, let me see what I can find. Hold on one sec. Ah, actually, okay, wait. Uh, I'm just gonna use this, you guys. It's totally not, whoa, God, I keep scaring myself the cabinet. This is totally not the right kind of glass for this, but um, I think it's okay because um, I'm not a huge fan of bourbon anyway, so, okay. But uh, let's do this. This is the Maple Old Fashioned. And so much like the name suggests, it's an old fashioned with um, maple syrup. So, but I, I will admit when I tried it the other day, I did actually not mind it. It wasn't terrible. Um, just not my thing because unlike the one with the apple cider, this is like pure bourbon with a bit of, you know, maple syrup thrown in, but it's essentially just, you know, bourbon. So if you're a fan of the bourbon, you will probably love this. Okay, um, two dashes of Angostura. So I'm just gonna sort of put some drops in there. Um, okay, and then half an ounce of maple syrup. So, um, but yeah, what you should probably do with this actually is put it in an ice with glass, stir it, and then strain it into a rocks glass with more ice. But, um, you know, because I'm me, I'm not doing that. Um, but you should, if you want to do it right, should probably actually do that. Um, come on, maple syrup. Well, the maple syrup apparently does not want to go back into your refrigerator land, so I'll have to figure that out later. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna stir this with the stir thing, hold on. I think it still has some sweet potato on it from the counter, okay. All right, I'm gonna stir this. Um, honestly, I don't know why, because it's really not gonna make it any better for me, but I will stir it. Yeah, so the ice, uh, we just learned this on uh, another channel actually, but the reason why um, you put ice in drinks and why a lot of bartenders will put ice in cocktails, and I might be wrong, saying this wrong, uh, it melts more slowly in the alcohol um, or something, and so it like, I don't know, it does something. There's some chemical thing with it, and Basically, it gets the liquor, keeps the liquor cold, but the liquor has like a different freezing point or some. I don't remember. Anyway, it was interesting though. I just don't really remember what he said. So, I will look that up and get back to you. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. The bourbon's stinging my eyes. Like, I... The minute I picked that up, the bourbon, like, fumes went in my eyes, and, like, my eyes burn now. <laughs> they burn. They burn with the fire of a thousand bourbons. Okay, anyway. Oh, God, I don't know why that happened. They burn. Um, that's okay, though. Anyway, that was the maple of fashion. I don't know if you guys could see it. You probably could while I suffered through it. Um, it's actually not terrible. It's pretty good, but... My eyes are burning, and I don't know why. I uh, never experienced that before while drinking bourbon. But it could be because I have it in a weird glass or something. So <clears throat> maybe don't do what I just did um, and stick your face in it. Okay, uh, but that has been for Thanksgiving. Oh, fuck me, yeah, my eye is like burning, itching and burning. Okay, that was for Thanksgiving cocktails. Um, I will probably maybe make another video before Thanksgiving, but if I don't, have a really good Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, you can find a PDF 
of these recipes in my YouTube store. And um, I'd love if you, if you wish to acquire them, that would be great. Everything helps support me and the channel and uh, continuing to make content for you and, um, you know, all that good, happy stuff. So, uh, yeah. But thank you so much for joining me. And um, again, have a great Thanksgiving. Do not put this anywhere near your eyes if you like your vision. Um, but uh, cheers. My eyes.